Welcome to Crimson Guitars and this is another Saturday unboxing video and I am very excited about this one. It is a Robert Sorby Pro Edge 2, I think, sharpening system and uh, as well as in the studio where we build the guitars for sharpening and, and all that jazz, we, it will be incredibly in useful um, based on, I've, I've played with it before. Uh, but also in our tool making department upstairs. I suspect actually if it is as good as uh, my limited experience so far uh, says, I suspect I'm going to be buying another one. It's just so that we can have one upstairs and one downstairs. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, I am going to open this rather large box and uh, give you a bit of a Essentially, this is not just an unboxing video. I am going to actually open it up and see if we can get this, uh, this tool set up and uh, pretty much working. Uh, and uh, I'll come, up, come back with a review in a couple of weeks, a proper review and demonstration on how to use it. You can tell the companies that you want to work with by how well they package their tools and uh, this box <laughs> this box is actually stapled together with giant copper staples and uh, that's really um, really rather impressive oh that one got away from me oh no <laughs> packing peanuts um, Okay, I, I really, so yeah, Robert Sorby, we have got various uh, grits of uh, belts and things like that, and of course, the tool. Okay, now, packing peanuts are the bane of my existence. Um, but look at that. Okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> no, they're escaping, help. Um. Okay, bits and pieces in there. So it looks like this is gonna be several unboxings. Nope, thou shalt not escape. Once these things are let into the wild, they are completely uncontrollable. Ah, so, actually, do you know what, that's really rather quite heavy. Watch me knock the box off my bench now. <coughs> okay, that is, that's enough packing peanuts to lose a small child in. I kind of want to get one of my children involved now because that would be quite fun but uh, but too messy all right ah one escaped so this is how it comes um, <laughs> okay it's a much smaller machine than that original box would have uh, intimated. However, very exciting. Comes with an Allen key, lots of cardboard, and I'm unsure what is the best way to get it out of here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Honestly, I have no interest in saving this box and I don't want to pick it up by something that uh, might break. So I'm just going to
I'm the kid that tears into his Christmas presents. Aha! And... There we have it. Okay, unboxing video over. Go away. <laughs> I am now going to play. Immediately, we have, it says two tracking bars and a five mil Allen key T-bar wrench. And that's a really good quality. Very nice. Look at that. That's an instruction booklet that actually looks like something that I wanted to read which is really rather, um, something rather of a shock. Okay, and seeing as we're boxing, unboxing at least, and see what's in here. This is, I think the basic tool comes with a, that's a 60 grit coarse belt, and it's obviously got a fine belt on there. Now, in this box here, I have a load of other belts and a few little jigs. I very nearly stabbed myself in the gut with that. Oh, look at how pretty that is. That's a rainbow of, uh, a rainbow of, Sanding belts. That really is actually rather attractive. All right, and uh, and we have a jig there. So, so there we have it. Obviously, different grade belts for different jobs. And this is a woodworker's square guide. Um, I just want to get playing, but if they say, and it's on stickers and things all over the place. Do not try and operate this machine without reading the instructions. So I'm going to go away and have a little bit of a read. And uh, then I'll be back with you. And we'll... So I've pulled this over to the other side of my bench where there's slightly better light and uh, a bit more access for the camera. And uh, I've read through the instructions. They've done full-on risk assessments um, going through everything from having children in your workshop through to... Uh, dust and the stand falling off or uh, even back injuries due to picking it up. Uh, this isn't where it's going to live so I am just going to clamp it to my workbench for now. Obviously you know long term you want to bolt this down wherever it's going to live. Now there are a lot of extra attachments and jigs and things that can come with this beautiful, beautiful machine. And uh, sadly, I'm going to have to buy at least half of them because uh, they all look so useful. Um, it obviously comes a little bit, uh, a little bit greasy because uh, it needs to be protected in transit. So I'm just, uh, I'm not using a cleaner or anything like that. I just don't, don't want to get grease all over my hands while I adjust it up and set it up. But, ah, this is going to be fun. Okay. I said Pro Edge 2 just now. I was thinking about the Aria Pro 2, which is a guitar brand. Anyhow, uh, it's all in the instructions. And, uh, well, I haven't plugged it in. I haven't set anything up yet. Uh, this is just so exciting. The first thing to do is move the sharpening platform and it's got this integral uh, very clever tool for loosening that off so now that's moving and here's a knurl now obviously you can set it wherever you want but it's got all these holes on the side that correspond to different angles and it's written on the front of the tool. So the first hole is 15 degrees, 
that's 25, and it even says 25 degrees, this is the honing angle for bevel edge chisels for soft wood, and so on and so forth. Now, I'm going to go for a 25, so I want, oh, I've tightened that in the process of playing around. Uh, 25 degrees is there, that's the main bevel, and then you tighten that off, and it's as stable as you can could ever want and then that just sits back and uh, is wonderful now of course uh, I don't have a chisel though on the other side of the bench now that's a fairly awkward angle to be holding a chisel at and they've thought of this you can move this entire um, belt assembly what the hell would they call it and uh, I'm going to do that now and for this, we need the Allen key. There are two, two bolts on either side of the bottom section here. And loosen them off. And the whole machine, my goodness gracious me, this is surprisingly heavy. For some reason, I thought that most of the weight would be in the motor. This is reassuringly solid. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm quite happy with that angle there. So just lock those off. One there. Whoa. <laughs> the other one's actually hidden now. Uh, that is behind. Okay, now I do want to tighten both of those up, so now... I'm going to move the camera. There's two little, oh, it's a bit awkward to get in there past this while trying to let you guys see what's going on. Little uh, knobs with, uh, with Sorby written on it. And Sorby have been making tools forever. I've got properly vintage Sorby chisels and I wish I had some Sorby planes actually. So there is heritage, and uh, they, these are still made in Sheffield, uh, in the UK. And as you can see here, this is how easy it is to change, change the paper. Get that out of the way a little bit, or we'll go like so. Um, obviously, make sure you follow the directions of the, uh, that it says on the belt. But that's, you know, you can chop and change your belts really simply. Put it back together again. Now, one of the attachments that I think I'm going to have to go out and get is a. Uh, let me just have a look through the book and see what they call it. It's a mandrel of some sort, buffing mop and pigtail mandrel that goes in here, and it pulls out, and you've got buffing mops and uh, honing wheels and things that uh, can fit on. Now. Sorby have predominantly set this up for sharpening <sighs> for sharpening turning tools and the like and uh, but it's incredibly versatile chisels planes and uh, of course uh, knives and things as well and uh, yeah this is fun Okay, so that's set up. I'm going to get a chisel quickly while the camera's on the other side. No, that definitely doesn't need sharpening. Ha! Let's see if we can find an old Sorby chisel. Now you see, I was talking and was a little bit silly and uh, not quite concentrating and I can't see my sandpaper because I've put it on the wrong side of the uh, plate that of course needs to go there now one of the risk assessment things uh, that they must have mentioned I skimmed over that part uh, was or should have been to not leave this side bit off, really. Uh, it is there to protect you. 
There we go. Okay, so there's a sticker here. It says, please ensure the belt is tracked to the right-hand edge of the plate. Uh, now that we've got that, we really don't need a sticker on there. Oh, oh, I hate the detritus that stickers leave. I'm going to have to clean that off with some acetone in a bit. Uh, now, that is much more comfortable. That's a good angle. I can hold this quite nicely. So uh, let us, uh, let's have a play. Okay, so the next thing to do, align our paper and we've got a tensionless. And it's really as simple as pushing that lever. And uh, it's just, uh, that is just such an amazing cam action. I'm just, this is just awesome. Now that should, they say that it's been tracked beforehand, but before we turn anything on or even get it plugged in, it comes with these two tracking bars, uh, which are also really greasy. Okay, now these, one goes in there and another one goes in here, and those allow you to uh, somehow track the belt. Okay, now those are ready. It's time to get the power cable set up. Make sure the machine is off. And, oh, there we go. Up in the back there. This The moment of truth. Uh, let's get my tracking things. I'm just going to turn it on and then straight off again, just in case the tracking is massively off. No, nope. it's a little bit too far that way, and this is a complete experiment. Okay, I'm not sure how that works. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. I can't picture in my mind how that works. Uh, but it's incredibly precise. And, uh, and it works. Now, the thing is, there's nothing else to do. This is set up and ready to go. There are multiple jigs. There's a knife sharpening jig. Um, there's a buff, the Buffy Muff and Pigtail thing I'm really looking forward to. And there's various sharpening platforms that uh, I'm going to get when I get my second tool. Because I'm not sure if you've heard it in my voice yet. But frankly, this is an amazing tool. And... Uh, and yeah, I'm not joking when I say I'm gonna buy another one. Uh, I, I want one of these in our, in our sharpening station uh, for the luthiers to use, and I need one or maybe even two upstairs for our tool makers. Uh, because uh, I need it. Now, this is the woodworker's square guide. I suppose we want it on that side. And that is it's a little bit a little bit tight uh, yeah that's going to need just a little bit more cleaning let's get some acetone out here it is okay this is an unboxing video it's not a full review of how uh, uh, how to use it to sharpen anything but uh, i'm just going to have a quick go at this properly destroyed old chisel and uh, with the standard paper that comes with it. I'm gonna use this for a couple of weeks and then do a review, uh, do a, a proper tutorial or two, I suppose. And, uh, well, let's go.
I nearly turned the camera off instead of uh, the machine. Well, that's already halfway to getting me the right angle. It's starting to get warm to touch, and of course I don't want to uh, uh, damage the hardening and tempering of my blade. But I am so impressed, and uh, I have much, much more playing to do. It's time for a review. I personally use water stones to sharpen my tools. I have ever since my old master told me that any other method was sacrilege and if I considered anything else I would be cast out from the, uh, the society of luthiers and spurned for life. And if anything, trying to make a business out of making anything with wood has taught me that if there is a better way, a faster way, a more efficient way of sharpening, you should take that. Now, one of my apprentices, uh, no, I lie, he's not an apprentice, he's a luthier. One of my luthiers, he uses an, uh, a slow speed grinder and he grinds a hollow grind on every single tool and then he goes to, um, to Waterstones and it locates and it works very well. And I see him do this and I still shout, sacrilege, uh, in, in, in the back of my mind. And we've got other people that have never owned a sharpening stone in their life. They use oil stones and we're getting them away from that. Uh, I have also got a Triton uh, water stone that uh, it's got a diamond impregnated water stone. And that um, is a, a, it's a machine with a round stone, you know, the type. Um, Tormek and all that jazz. And that works very well, albeit a bit slowly, um, although it doesn't heat up the tools the way this does. And uh, do you know what? I am going to have to do an entire massive series of videos showing every single different way to sharpen a tool. Out of all of those, I suspect that for somebody who wants to be building and doing the woodwork much more efficiently and much more rapidly than anything else. And if speed uh, is the, the main driver on how you are going to sharpen your tools, I honestly don't think that you can do any better than the Robert Sorby Pro Edge. This, it comes with, um, this here is a Trizact belt. belt. Um, this is 600 grit and it goes right through to um, 3000, yeah this is the 3000 one, and I'm actually scared to touch this because it's so fine, I can't, you can just see it. This is a 3000 grit, I think it, it must be a diamond of some sort. This belt can get you, they say, sharp to within 2 microns, and in other words, as sharp as a razor blade. And the tool itself is so rock steady. The, I, I, as I said when I, when I was setting it up, I was surprised at how heavy the, the belt section was. It's made out of eight mil thick, mild steel. And once it's locked in at the angle, it's locked in at the angle. It does not move. Um, I keep on saying I'm gonna buy a few more. I, I am honestly probably gonna be buying a few more of these things. Uh, for the workshop because the amount of time it is going to save us especially with a chisel that is um, old and knackered and well as you can see I love my old chisels and planes um, to get one of these set up and working properly so that you can move on to water stones and I'm, I will always love my water stones but uh, if I'm in a bind if I'm in a rush I think I'm probably going to end up going with this machine. Now, well, made in England, English quality, and bulletproof. And uh, I suppose I need to tell you, well, Robert Sorby, I don't know what they're, uh, there we go. <sighs> Robert hyphen Sorby, S-O-R-B-Y dot co dot U-K. Um, that is their website, yandels.co.uk. Uh, um, yandels sell them, 
and also the belts and the bits and pieces if you're interested. Uh, tell them Ben sent you. Um, <laughs> see if that gets you a discount or not. Uh, I doubt it, but uh, it's always worth a go. But look, honestly, I am absolutely 100% totally in love with this machine and the implications on my day-to-day -day woodworking are only just starting to dawn on me. And uh, the amount of things that we can do with our tool making department, I'm blown away. Anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. This has been another Saturday unboxing. Check out our other videos, our guitar building tutorials, our tool sharpening tutorials, which will be coming soon, uh, and everything else. Uh, thank you for watching. Please, if you've enjoyed this, click the like button, click subscribe. Uh, as I film this, we're nearing 40,000 subscribers, and that's a massive milestone. Uh, and yeah, life is great. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Go sharpen some tools.